Hello there. Today we're going to do a nice simple little video because I have been pulling my hair out researching a couple of really complicated ones that are coming up. But I want to do a really relaxed one right now and just take a look at my tiny Pentium. When I put this system together, I put two hard drives in it. Well, one hard drive and one SD card to IDE adapter. And I was happy with that solution. It's been perfectly fine, but it left me with a really nightmarish assortment of IDE cables inside that I think are blocking airflow. So today I want to replace both drives with this. This is a dual compact flash to IDE adapter, and I will be maxing out this system with two 32 gigabyte cards because it has a 40 gigabyte BIOS limit, although it may be possible to flash the BIOS with an upgrade to remove that, but honestly, 64 gigs in a Pentium with a Voodoo 2 is probably enough. But to make this a little more interesting, I thought we would compare the compact flash, the SD card, and the actual hard drive all in this video to see which of them is fastest. And I've also taken some temperature readings of the system before doing all of this, so we can see if I am actually able to successfully cool it more without the airflow obstructions. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, you might be wondering how I'm going to test the different storage drives. Well, I've actually managed to find a copy of Crystal Disk Mark that will run on Windows 98. And if that's not one of the weirdest things you've ever seen, I don't know what it is, because this just feels all sorts of wrong to me. But it actually works pretty well, and I've compared it with some other drive types that I'll be reviewing soon, and it does seem to be quite accurate, which I've heard you can have issues with um, with <laughs> Windows 98 because it uses some complicated caching mechanism. But for now, I need to go ahead and run this test on the drives that we have in there at the moment. So my C drive is the SD card to IDE adapter, and my D drive is an actual spinning drive. Now that spinning drive is a slim Mac store drive that I believe is actually an EIDE capable drive, but it is connected with a 40 conductor cable, so it might be possible for it to perform better, but this is not an ideal situation for it, and I've actually recently discovered that it may not be possible to get new 80 conductor cables anyway, so uh, EIDE might be a dying breed, with uh, especially how fragile those cables are, so this might be a more real-world test for most people. But I need to go ahead and start the test, and from the previous testing I've done, this is going to take a while, so uh, let's see how long this runs for. Okay, I do believe that is finished for the SD card adapter, and... Oddly, I've actually seen better speeds um, with my test bench, which is a slower processor, um, with the exact same SD card adapter and a, a very similar, comparable at least, SD card. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move this over to the actual hard drive now and run the test again. Okay, I believe that is done now as well, and that kind of really embarrassed the SD card, didn't it? Um, that's interesting. But yeah, okay, um, I was not expecting that. I think I should uh, pull it open, disconnect the hard drive, and rerun the SD card test, because that really was not what I was expecting. Okay, uh, we're inside the computer now, and you're just about to be able to see why... I really want to replace the, well, I really want to get the IDE cable out of there. I don't really want to replace the drives, but the problem is this area right here. So as I pull this out, you'll see that there are just so many cables bunched up in that area. There's just nowhere for the air to go. And that's the only fan in the whole thing. Uh, the air intakes from the bottom in this vented area and then <sighs> vents out through here. So that one fan has to do everything in the computer. Yeah, so that'll go in there like that. It goes up right against the uh, 
power supply. That's not great. Um, good news, it's going to clear the side, so I wasn't too sure about that. Uh, it barely clears the top, but it does, so that's good. But I think it would be interesting here to test that SD card adapter on its own. Okay, we are booted with the SD adapter only now, so let's go ahead and run the test again on it. And we'll just see and verify. Yep, SD. Alrighty. Let's see what it does. Okay, um, that's really no different than it was before. That's kind of crazy. Uh, I did, took a screenshot of the first test, actually. I had to redo the test, then take the screenshot because I forgot to do it. But I don't think it's any better. 10, 8's worse. 10, 8, 9, 5, 3. And this is 10, 6, 9, 5, 3. It's slightly worse. That is super weird. Why? It seems it may not be the worst thing that I'm getting away from that SD card. Very strange. Well, I'm going to be using Linux here to clone the SD card to a disk image file and then write that disk image file to one of the compact flashcards. They're identical in capacity, so this is a very easy solution for me. And after a little bit of time, it is done, and I can go put the compact flashcard adapter in the computer now. I'm actually a little excited how easy this is going to be to install. Um, I'm going to go ahead and plug in this shorter cable here uh, for power. But with that, um, I just have to jam it in here. That's it. And uh, it'll work. I'm hoping that I have the uh, master and slave drives in the right position there. Um, it does block the fan a little bit, but there's not going to be a giant IDE cable in here. So it's going to be better no matter what. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. Let's power it up and see if it works. This will be really nice if it works. Okay. I can see lights reflecting off of the grill for the fan. I guess I actually have had issues with those showing up in the uh, test bench, so it's not a guarantee that it will work. But it did, so I'm good. Excellent. Floppy drive is not connected, so that's fine. And will it boot? Or do I have to swap the drives? It boots! Sweet. Could still be. Well, no, it shouldn't be backwards. Excellent. All right. Well, we'll just roll this right into doing a uh, crystal disk mark test. All right. Get it fired up here. And really, I could run it on either drive, I guess. Oh, no, there's, only, there's two. Uh, there's this one, and then there's that one, which I'll need to copy the... Uh, secondary drives, physical hard drives files into, but you can just run that for now and uh, see how it goes. All right. Um, I'm pretty sure those are like the best numbers out of all of the tests here. Uh, let's go ahead and check that, but I'm pretty sure that annihilated everything. Um, yeah, 10, 6, 5, 10, 6, 9, 5, and it, yeah, like not even close. Um, the hard drive, which actually I think did better. Um, hard drive had faster continuous, but uh, yeah, for the s small test. But yeah, um, this destroyed it on the <laughs> 4K sections. And then that first uh, SD test there, 10, 8. Nine, five, yeah, wow. All right, so at least in this system with these cards that I tested, Compact Flash absolutely trounces everything else. And uh, yeah, for giggles, I am going to run the same test on the second card. I just want to go ahead and save that result there and uh, see how it does. I assume it's not going to be identical, um, but I mean, it should be pretty close. So let's see what that's like. Uh, that did like even better than last time, didn't it? That's eh, a pretty even, pretty even match between the two. But wow, that's so nice to have uh, all that done now. 
Well, all right. Now that that's in and tested, um, I think it's time for me to put this back together and then thermal test it, see if it gets as hot as it did before while running uh, something 3D for a long duration, because if it can fix that as well, then, oh, man, I'm going to be so happy. Man, check out how clear that fan area is now. That is fully pressed together. That's how much space it has. That is awesome. After I put all of this footage together, I'm less confident in the temperature change than I thought I was in person, so I don't want to focus on it too much. I did see an about 10 Fahrenheit drop, and the hard drive was 104 degrees when I pulled it out, so it was definitely contributing heat, but the results were somewhat inconsistent, so I don't really want to focus on those too much. Really, this external temperature monitor is not well suited to this task, and I don't really have a good way of pulling temps out of the system itself, so it's really difficult to say with certainty how much of a change this made, but I do feel better about it. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing this video where I maxed out the storage capability of this thing with, I guess, the fastest storage I can put in it. Uh, it's a little unfortunate it didn't help cool it down anymore. I may actually try and stuff some more fans in there for that i'm not sure getting the air out is the problem <laughs> so i don't know maybe adding some little fans along the inside at the bottom where the intake is could help just to create some positive air pressure but uh, i'm not really sure about that so i don't know but i guess from now on this system is complete and uh i'll just be ready to use it in videos for mostly external devices because i don't really want to uh Take it apart a whole lot. That CD drive cable that connects to the motherboard is kind of fragile, so I don't want to risk breaking that. But that is it for now. If you want to see this computer again, you might want to subscribe because I'm sure I'll come up with some reason in the future to drag it out. I mean, it's so cute and tiny, who could resist? And if you want to support the channel, I am on Patreon. But for now, that's it, and I'll see you next time. One last thing before I go, you may have noticed the new mouse and keyboard I'm using with this computer. Well, I recorded a video on my second channel with my thoughts about those, and uh, that keyboard is really awesome, and that mouse is no slouch either, so you might want to check that out if you're curious.